Welcome to the Armchair Traveling Program to the Philadelphia Zoo. My name is Carlos, librarian for the Broward County Libraries Division. I'll be your tour guide to this magnificent zoo. Things to remember. Before you visit, please check out philadelphiazoo.org so you have the most up-to-date info about the current zoo experience. Oh, and don't forget, everyone ages 2 plus is required to wear a face covering at all times during your visit. The Philadelphia Zoo is located on 3400 West Girard Avenue, set within 42 acres of Victoria Garden. It has many firsts. It was the first American zoo to be chartered in 1859, but because of the American Civil War, it did not open until 1874. The first to welcome chimpanzee and orangutan birds exhibit white lions in 1957 and the world's first children's zoo also in 1957. Another first is the Zoo 360, an exploration trail campus for animals to travel above and around the zoo grounds. The zoo contains animal sculptures such as cow, elephant, and calf by Heinz Warnicke. Lioness carrying to her John a wild boar by Augusto Kane. Hudson Bay Wolves by Edward Kimmins. African Warhawk by Eric Berg. Giraffes, penguins, a bear fountain, and a kangaroo. We begin our tour at the entrance where we can see gatehouses. With a map given, we continue to the Impala Fountain by Henry Mitchell located near the Rare Animal Conservation Center. Continuing is the treetop trail, where animals use the trail to travel along a pathway that stretches for hundreds of feet. Next, we encounter royal palm turkeys, sheep, goats, and a peacock wandering around. Inside the reptile and amphibian house, you can find, if they are not sleeping, crocodiles, snakes, and tortoises. Outside the reptile and amphibian house stand a replica of a Hedosaurus or Hadi, dinosaur created by Dexter Jones in 1971. Before going to see a six-minute safari adventure, there are four lionesses behind iron fences, whose names are Kataba, Mali, Mzinga, and Sabi. The Bill and Laura Buck Safari Adventure takes you into a wild animal outdoor safari in Africa, where you can see and almost feel and interact with some animals. At the Key Bank Big Cat Falls, come to face to face with endangered big cats from around the world, such as lions, tigers, leopards, pumas, and jaguars. Continuing, you can get a boat ride on Bird Lake. Paddle your way on Bird Lake. Each boat was built for two or three people and were inspired by Wagner's opera, Lohengrin, where, I'm quoting, the hero searches for the love of his life in a boat drawn by a swan, end of quote. Our next visit is to see wild condors. Andean condors are known to have lived up to 80 years. Princess the Zeus condor is estimated to have 67 years. In the Raptor Ridge exhibit, you can find one of the most beautiful birds of prey, the bald eagle. United States mascot since 1782. You can rest on one of the benches carved in wood. Water display is the next exhibition where visitors can actually see how water circulates in the park. Next to it is the Water is Life exhibit with the Red Panda Pass and the Otter Falls. The Africa Plains exhibit provides the visitor with a variety of animals originated in Africa. Here you will find some of the largest and most popular animals. Hippos, giraffes, Red River hogs, rhinos, cheetahs, and zebras.
The last three exhibits to see on this tour are Penguin Point, Bird Valley or Flamingo, and Outback Outpost. The Penguin Point has a colony of 22 Humboldt penguins. They originated from the west coast of South America along the coast of Peru and Chile. Four generations of flamingos are represented in the flock. The Outback Outpost is where you find the emu, Australia's tallest bird, and the red kangaroo. At the end of the tour, you can jump into the pouch of a giant kangaroo wooden statue and take a picture. This ends my tour of the Philadelphia Zoo. You may also visit the Bear Country, Kids Zoo, McNeil Avian Center, Monkey Junction, Pico Primate Reserve, or the Small Mammal House. For more information, visit the Philadelphia Zoo website, www.philadelphiazoo.org, or visit any of the 38 Broward County Library branches or go to www.brawa.org library and search for books on Philadelphia. Thank you.